Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, I'm Cass and my husband Johnny. Today, we're going to be answering your guys' assumptions about us, reading them, saying if they're true or not. I feel like there's a lot of assumptions out there. I mean, everyone always has an assumption. Yeah, so we wanted to hear your guys' about us and, you know, say if they're right or not. Should we get into the assumptions? Start it right off. Yeah. So in the future for videos like this, if you want to see or if you want like your question to be part of the prompt, we usually post it like on our Instagram story. So yeah. make sure to go follow the Instagram if you want your question to a prompt to appear on a video. Okay, the first assumption is that it was love at first sight. Hmm, for who? Our situation is unique because first sight was like technically over the phone. Yeah. You know, like we didn't see each other in person. No, like we met on over social media. Yeah. And so, I mean, by the time I saw her in person, I was definitely in love. You yeah. Know? Well, we already been talking. I've been talking. So as much as you can fall in love with someone over a photo, like seeing that for the first time, like I was definitely drawn to you. Yeah. But I would say by the first time, like I saw you in person, I'm pretty love I at first like sight. I feel like love at first sight is usually you me in person. Yeah. So that's an interesting assumption. Okay, this next assumption is that it was hard to transition from dating and then to being married and living together. I feel like for a lot of people that's true. But, but not for I, us. I honestly feel like it wasn't. Yeah. And I know a lot of girls are, you know, they're like, I wasn't expecting to do his laundry and like clean after him, which is like, I'm not like your maid, obviously, mm -hmm. I don't like clean after you, but like I do our laundry. And yeah. Just, you know what I mean? I think I expected living with a girl to be like a definitely a, like a life altering experience. But yeah. for me, I think that we know each other so well and we know like what upsets the other person and like what makes the other person happy. We really just live pretty seamlessly together and we're together all the time. We work from home, so Our it's jobs like- jobs and stuff, yeah. It's very easy to live and it's been that way from like the very beginning. There was never like a tough transition or anything. I always thought no, like- I agree. It was easy from the beginning and like it's been that way, so. Well, and I think we're both just easy people to live with, get along with, and neither of us are really messy or anything. We're both pretty clean people, so. I think like a lot of couples maybe purposely or if they're upset yeah, at someone do, do things. things to like upset the other person but yeah. I I think we do a really good job of like not doing that. I, like if I, I can tell like, you're a little yeah. like upset, I'm just going to give you your space. If yeah. you can tell I'm upset like after a game or something, you yeah. just give me my space and then it's like Yeah, I feel like we don't really do things no. to like get on each other's nerves like purposefully. Yeah, not purposefully. Yeah. Okay, this assumption says Cass spends the money and Johnny saves the money. Hmm. Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've talked about this. I don't know about on the channel, but I think we've both like helped each other out in that way. But I've come in from like a background where I literally would not even want to spend money on food for myself because I was so worried about spending and saving money, especially when I was like living by myself in Arizona, like on the salary I was on, like the teaching salary. Basically, I didn't have really any money to like work with, so I was spending twenty dollars a week really on groceries, saving. really saving just yeah. in case of emergency. And so like I come from that. And then you come from more of like a if you see it and you want it for like a couple of days and you just get it, you know what i'm saying yeah. so well for me i like to make money though mm -hmm. i love you know getting paid and stuff but i'm like well if i'm making x amount of dollars and i have enough money for this i should buy <laughs> yeah so you've helped me spoil myself more and like treat myself more yeah. And then I have helped you be like, okay, now do we really need this? It's let's, a good balance though. Yeah, let's wait a couple weeks and if you still want it, yeah. or like maybe let's try to like use gift card money on something. You know what I'm saying? It's not fully that like cash just like racks up thousand dollars like credit card no. bills. Like, oh my gosh. I'm not like a crazy spender. I'm no. more of like a she's a everyday wanner. little She's spender. a wanner, not a spender. She wants to spend money. Yeah. But she doesn't do it like crazy. Yeah. But we've definitely like, balanced each other out pretty good. We both like consider each other. Yeah. Before like making or not making purchases. Definitely. This assumption says you guys read the Bible together to grow spiritually. Well, we used to. And then I kept getting made fun of for the version of the Bible I read. No, okay. No, so like we did used to do devotions together every morning. We still do devotions in the morning, but now it's more I like read them private. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't making fun of her. She was reading a version that was very like I like to read ESV. That's what my Bible is There were times where I, I knew she like there was no way she just understood what <laughs> she just read and I'm like tell me what that just said And she's like, I don't know. 
and I was like, like I was like well why are you reading a Bible with words is that it's not plain English in there yeah. so I, I'd rather read a version where <laughs> I understand everything it says and then if I want a more older version of it maybe to see what a different version says then I'll go and do it but I'm more like I like to read the version that my Bible is in and then if I need to look something up in a different version, then I will. But also I feel recently it's probably good we don't read ours together because like, sometimes I want to do them as soon as I wake up. Sometimes I do them a different, you know what I mean? Yeah. And so, then, and like, I don't want us to be like, well, do you want to read your devotion? Right. There's times where we do it together and obviously like Sunday mornings, church and all that, like it's spent together. And yeah. there's good things about doing it separately and then good things about doing it together. And I think like we do a balance of it. And even when we do it separately, like we talk about like certain verses yeah. and stuff and then like, I've been focusing on memorization right now and she'll always ask me like what verse I memorized that day and stuff like that. So yeah. we still like talk about We still about talk it. about them, but we just don't do our actual devotions And we always together. pray together like every yeah. day and stuff. Yeah. Okay, this assumption says Cass wants kids now, but Johnny does not yet. I'm gonna say that assumption is not true. Yeah, I think I just changed my mind so much. I've always said that like my, I didn't peak in high school, I didn't peak in college, like, I'm, I wasn't one of those people. <laughs> so like I've always said like my peak in life is will, will be like when I'm a dad, when I can be the little league coach, when I can like mow the lawn, like have a house, like to me, like that's when I'm gonna peak in life. So I'm really excited for that. But then I also know like our life is gonna change a lot. Yeah. So like I always just have like differing feelings. Of, okay, I'm ready. Oh, maybe I'm not ready. I'm ready to do this, but I still wanna go on these trips. I'm ready to have it, but also like I know my freedom will be kind of gone and uh -huh. stuff. And then I just see a cute kid at church. The baby dedication. Ba baby dedications do me wrong. I can't do it. They get you every time. They get me every time. Definitely for me, ever since I was little to right up until we met, I was like, as soon as I get married, I'm not gonna have a baby in mm -hmm. me. And then like once we got engaged and stuff, I was like, oh my gosh, I do not want kids right now or anytime soon. I feel like when you're actually with the person you're gonna marry, then you're like, wait, I kind of want time just us, you know? Cause mm -hmm. once you have kids, you're always parents. You're never gonna get time where it's just you guys again. And so for right now, I don't know. I think we're, we're pretty close on the same wanting of kids right now. It's more, uh, you're stressing about like what it's gonna do to your body about make like so that's what like yeah. holds you back to it when like I don't have to yeah. go through that's so why I'm like a little bit more okay with okay if we got pregnant like it wouldn't be the well I mean if it happens it happens yes yeah. but um, we're not actively trying definitely no. not and another thing is I don't want a baby in an apartment and another thing is we just have some like really big trips coming up where I know if we had a baby those trips would look different and I don't know I do love the freedom where it's just us right now. When it comes, it will be perfect. And yeah. So God's time is always perfect. Yeah. So. But no, the assumption is not true. Sorry. Okay, I would say probably a third of the responses I got to this question prompt evolved around arguing. Either that we don't argue a lot or that we do argue a lot. Both ways. Really? Yeah. I guess one of the assumptions would be correct that yeah. we don't argue a lot. Yeah. Like no. at all. No, never. No, I'm not going to say never. Like, like we have, I don't even think we have like arguments like we just have little disagreements it's to the point where sometimes i'm like is it bad that we don't fight that much because no, like I don't think so. no i know in my head like that's just how i see that's just like what you see in the world and there's like yeah times where we can go like literally months without even having a slight disagreement and i'm I like know. why don't we fight like sometimes honestly we are both like i don't even know how to explain it well i think we know each other so well that we know what we what each other doesn't like what would upset the other person and what would kind of get them upset and we just do the exact opposite. Like we're not a yeah. couple that tries to get under the skin of each other. Well, and I just, I know some girls, they love the drama. I like the drama on TV and stuff, but not in my own home, you know? Yeah. I literally hate arguing with people. Even my friends, you know, my mom, anybody. If I'm in an argument with somebody, I'm like unwell. It gives mm -hmm. me anxiety, honestly. So yeah, we don't argue a lot at all. Mm -mm. Okay, so this assumption says that Cass loves living in Florida more than Johnny does. I don't know. I think that's probably a little true, but not like to a dramatic degree. It's not like yeah. I hate living here. I definitely miss more things on the West Coast and like where I used to live than you miss things about like yeah. where you used to live. But it's not like I don't like living here. Or I don't like Florida. I just miss some of the things about my life like in Arizona or, or the Pacific Northwest and stuff. Yeah. Well, I feel like a big thing for you too is like the time difference between like sports you like hate and East Coast time. your family and most of your friends are in yeah. different time zones where now I'm back in the Eastern time zone and that's where all my friends are and stuff. So like it doesn't really affect me as much. 
I lived a year in the central time zone when we lived in Texas. It didn't bother me. I cannot live in the eastern time zone. I, I can't go to sleep at a good time and I can't wake up at a good time. Yeah. I'm never tired when it's time to go to bed. Plus sports are always on and it's like, I'm not, not gonna watch sports if they're on and they're games I wanna watch and then I can't only sleep six hours. So I, yeah, my sleep schedule is just messed up. I don't like East Coast time. It's rough. Yeah, I feel like it's not so much that I like Florida more than you. It's kind of just you just like miss the last. Yeah, I definitely. Like the time zone, yeah, so. yeah. There's definitely things I miss, but it's not that I don't like. Yeah. Okay, this assumption says, I guess it's for me, you get annoyed always taking pictures of Cass. I would say that is false because that's kind of my job. It's not, but like any annoyance never comes from the fact that I need to take photos. It only slight annoyance will come while we're taking photos it's yeah. just like because i don't know where i want to take them i have a vision but i can't get my words out mm. of how i want the pictures to look or we go somewhere and i'm like no i hate all these there's i mean like whenever she needs picture i know we have to go shoot for something like, yeah like obviously like, that's part of the reason i'm here uh, among other things but that's part of the reason i'm here let's go do it but then we get somewhere oh this is not how i want it. then we go to a different place and different place and then a different place and then it doesn't and then like I get frustrated because i can tell he's annoyed but i'm like well, I need these pictures, so like I don't care that you're not. Yeah, like, I care, but and then lighting's bad, and then she doesn't yeah. like her pose, and then ends up after an hour doesn't like her outfit. And then and I don't then post any of the pictures. <laughs> sometimes doesn't post anything, or just posted the ones from the very first location. We were yeah, at. and so and then but then sometimes she'd be like, well, "What should I do? Or what should I do this? Or what kind of pose should I do? Or what's because the?" Because you're creative. I I'm more creative like in vi in videos and, and captions and stuff though. No, but Picture you, posing. you do have good ideas though for photos sometimes, which is why I ask. I'm like decent at taking them. Yeah, no, I had to whip him in shape, but he's a good photographer now. Mm -hmm. I'm a photographer and I took this photo. <laughs> I, I could just do that your entire Instagram. No, literally. Photo. I'm not annoyed that I need to take yeah. photos. I sometimes get annoyed while taking photos, and that's the truth. And that's okay. And that's okay. Who doesn't get annoyed sometimes at their job? That's true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this assumption says that Cass makes Johnny do YouTube. Every day I hold a gun to your head At and I say, we're making a YouTube We're video. making a YouTube I would say that's very false because sometimes I'm like on you about our joint channel. We need to do more on that because yeah. like you have so much other things going on with your own YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, yeah. all the other side things you You're do. You're always thinking of video ideas. Right. He has a whole list of ideas for us to make. We're going to do this, this, and that. And I'm like... I can barely do my own channel. Like, no, I definitely, I, I like the idea of YouTube. It interests me as far as like the analytics of it. And I like watching videos t of different creators talking about how they get more people to their videos and the importance of like titles and thumbnails and just the whole analytics side of YouTube I find very interesting. So mm -hmm. I do like doing YouTube and yeah, you don't, you don't make me do YouTube. No, mm -mm. not at all. I feel like it was mainly your idea to even start a joint channel. Yeah, but also it, it gives me more things to do just because I would consider our joint channel is like more of like my ideas and like yeah. my editing and stuff. Johnny edits basically all of our videos on this channel because I'm doing all my stuff for my own and i don't know i want to try to get to like two videos a week maybe on my channel so then like especially with this channel i just don't yeah. have time so sometimes i even have to kick her in the butt and yeah. she, i'll be like do you want to film and she's like not today not yeah. tomorrow and i'm like no no tomorrow we're like yeah. we need to film <laughs> it like gives me it gives me like a sense of pride of something to do because like i'm not someone who's gonna like have like a giant instagram or like a giant tiktok or something yeah. like i'm not that kind of creator so youtube like account is like something to try to build up feel like pride in you know and basically just to create a channel where we can like make a difference and people like enjoy and stuff, so. Yeah. Okay, this assumption says that Cass wears the pants in the relationship and he spelled wears wrong and he's also my friend, but I'm not gonna call him out for that. But you're a college graduate, buddy, learn what wear to, to write. I did not wear the pants in the no. relationship. And I don't want to, honestly. Mm -mm. That's a lot of responsibility. It would, be, it would be really, our personalities are perfect for our relationship. I have always been someone who I'm not bossy in any way, but I like to be able to make a decision. Yeah. You know, I and like I, I don't. Know. I like knowing what's going on. I like being the person basically like making a decision because I don't know, it's just how God created me. And you're someone who I cannot make a decision. Can't make a decision. To save my life. Literally the other day, here's an example. I said we were going somewhere and I was like, I'm gonna get a coffee when we get here. We go there, we're outside the coffee shop, Johnny's like, Are you getting coffee? And I start crying and I'm like, I don't know if I want to coffee. Literally I didn't know if I wanted coffee. Like, make up your freaking mind. And then we get in the car and she's like, I should have got it. I know, I got in the car and I was like, I wish I got coffee. So then he took me to Starbucks. But especially when we have kids, 
I just know I'm going to be the mom. Anything they ask me, I really ask your dad. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't want the responsibility of like. I just think, yeah, I just think our personalities are, are very much where I'm more of like a type A and you're probably more. Sometimes you're, in some ways you're type no, A, but. Yeah. but I'm definitely type A about like organization and stuff like that. But when it comes to decision making. Yeah. Well, and it's no. just like, I mean, we've talked about it before, just like biblically, as far as like head of the household, of course, like we both have different roles and stuff like yeah. that. And even our relationship looks different than a lot of relationships where, I mean, and there was a lot of talk of assumptions about that, that yeah, like you, that you make more money, which is true, but it, it definitely is more, it's a, like a team thing. Yeah. And so we can talk about that in a second. Uh, that could be like our next assumption but even how our relationship looks different with the fact that you make more money and normally like that's like the man's job mm -hmm. like it's it doesn't differ from the fact that when we have a family like spiritually like i'm still going to be yeah. in charge of like leading that and making sure that our family's like making good decisions and right. basically just that whole which is what i wanted in a husband obviously which is why i married johnny and mm -hmm. so i'm like i don't have to make any decisions anymore <laughs> <laughs> i feel like a lot of the assumptions not a lot of them i just saw a few People saying like Cass is the breadwinner and stuff, which I mean. No, we can talk about it. And I think I think it gets brought up a lot, like across social media. What does Johnny do, or like what is Johnny's job? So like just to start off, I do have a degree. I did have a we job. Both have college degrees. When um, we got together, I was a teacher, and you know, like teachers don't make any money. If you're a teacher in today's world, literally props to you, because some of the stories he would come home and tell me, I was like. I literally could never. Yeah. So we got to a point where last year Cass was doing really well, so successful that she needed help. And she just like the amount of things on her, on her list just wasn't able to get done. And she was going to have to hire an assistant. And that was right when we were about to get married. And so like joint accounts, joint everything. And it's like, you, you want to pay people well, you want to make sure that you're not taking advantage of anyone. The person that we would have been paying to be her assistant practically would have been my teacher's like, like your whole salary. salary. And so that just would have been silly. I wasn't, I, my passion at that time wasn't teaching and it may come back in the future. Like I really don't know like what, yeah. like our future looks like in that. But at that moment it was just the job I was in was not healthy. It was not fulfilling me. My purpose didn't feel like it was there. And then to know that I was going to be going to work practically for free, I was like, to pay someone else. would you consider me being your assistant? Yeah. And she was like, I didn't realize that would even be something that you yeah, would consider. Yeah, I was like, I didn't know you would like leave teaching, but honestly, here's how I'm looking at it. If we're not paying someone, if we're keeping all the money in our bank accounts, like that's better for us, you know? Yeah. And so... And it doesn't, not all in the bank accounts. Like the temp, first 10% goes to church. We just want to put that out there. Oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we get no, back I just mean like if no, I no. could like pay you, which obviously right. I don't pay you, then pay an assistant, like that would be more beneficial to us. But really, I feel like my like face is on a lot of stuff, but a lot of my ideas or captions or anything mm -hmm. is like stuff that you're helping Well, it's with. like uh, people like will give me a hard time and stuff and it's like obviously it is more normal for like the guy to go out and make the money. But for our situation, like right now it just made sense. Yeah. How can I be the best team player for you? I didn't necessarily have any career goals and dreams i've kind of never been that way besides like when i was little i wanted to play professional sports but other than that i didn't have a career or a goal even teaching was like my third major change in college like it was never something i was always super passionate about yeah. and you had goals and you had dreams for for your career you know what if i don't have those things like how can i best help you pursue yeah. those so yeah i mean like she's the breadwinner but again like she said like Anytime, anytime you see in a photo on Instagram, good chance I took it. Basically any video he's filming, filming it's like it. a selfie video. You know, All the, so like the joint channel stuff is like my editing, captions. So much stuff. Whenever like, there's like videos that need to be made from a brand, we'll sit down, she'll read me like I what they're asking. I show him all the brief and I'm like, what do you think I should And then do? we'll brainstorm and stuff. I feel like honestly, I just have been doing this for so long to a point where all of my stuff is repetitive and all good ideas and stuff, which like that's not, you know what I mean? But so I'm like, I need a fresh perspective yeah. on things. I, I, I would say like a lot of people, probably even like friends and family, maybe like just think I probably like sit home and do nothing, but I, I definitely, do things to do I definitely do my fair share of things to try to help like the team yeah. success. So, well, and he's doing everything of ours, like financially, I have never even touched a bill of ours. <laughs> Yeah. Like anything that has to do with that, don't even ask me how much we're paying for rent because I don't know. Like, no, like we're we're a good team, and so I have no problem with your face being the breadwinner, with your name being like the breadwinner, yeah. people associated with it. I mean, I did caddy during the winter and spring yeah. for like five or six months in Dallas. Um, really enjoyed that, made some money. I do occasionally brand deals myself, individual stuff. Again, it's not to the amount that you do. 
I'm supposed to be caddying here in Florida. It's just that the hurricane pushed that back a little bit. I do like doing things on the side um, to be able to make extra money, but my main goal is to just like support her in her dreams and her aspirations. And we love that. And so if that makes people give me a hard time for not being the breadwinner or being a trophy husband, I, I really yeah. don't have a problem with yeah, it. Yeah, but you needed a supportive king. And here you came. Yeah. I still believe in men being the strong person in the household and being someone who yeah. who can take care of the family and, and spiritually is, is in charge and stuff. But um, I have no problem helping you help us make money. Yeah. And well, I feel like in today's world, there are so many families where the mom is the breadwinner. The stay at home dads are becoming, I don't know, way more popular than they were. Yeah. I feel like when I was younger, I feel like especially any girl who does social media and it's like their full-time job, an Insta hubby type job, yeah. you know? As long as a guy is like making sure that if he is a stay-at-home dad, he's doing so much work at the house and so, so much. much work at home and yeah. it's not just letting his wife like slave away in the office. If that's what's best for the family, I don't see any problem with it as long as like the dad is still being that strong male role model in the house and he's yeah. not being like submissive and stuff yeah. like that. It's so Everything. important for him to act like a man around the house even if he is around the house. Yeah. Man. Okay, now the very last one is that you guys give a lot of PDA. The public. Public. Like yeah. In front of other people? Yeah. I feel like we're not like on top of each other mm -hmm. in public. But I'm definitely we hold hands everywhere and like like walking around it. I don't know. Yeah. Is that what it means? Like in public? I just don't think we're around people that much. Like, you know That's what I'm true. saying? Like, we're just really not around. We're like, people, we're around like strangers and stuff. Like, when oh, we're yeah, at like parks or coffee shops or the store, we're not a part of like a big friend group or anything currently. Yeah. Or, and even at church, we're kind of in and out as bad as that is. I don't think we give a lot no. of PDA. I don't feel I mean, in private. But <laughs> I don't yeah. feel the need to like show other people, oh, she's mine, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So if I feel the need to kiss you in public, I will, but I'm right, not if like, a reason. We're not I'm not like, like all over you. Out, no, so yeah. Know. Yeah, we'll hold hands and yeah. if you need a hug, I mean, hugs, maybe hug. Of yeah. Us no, us we're not like guys. overly, not overly like affectionate. Touchy. And touchy. Stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't even say, even like around the house, we're like overly touchy and, and stuff. Like there's, uh, there's times for that and stuff like yeah. that. We like have physical touch as part of like our, our love language, but at the same time, we also like our space and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. We're not, even though we're at home together, we're not just like this the whole day. Yeah. A lot of times, like I'm doing work in there or you're doing work in yeah. here. Like we definitely even like our space. Even though we're both home most of the days, I feel like I am like never see you. And yeah. Once we're done like working for the day, I'm like, I'm like oh, what's up? Wait, what did you do all day? Yeah. Like I didn't see you. <laughs> that sounds so silly, but it's true. Yeah. I would just get distracted if we worked like in the same yeah. room and stuff. So. No, me too. But that's all the assumptions that you guys had. Hopefully, we answered some good ones for mm -hmm. you guys and that you know a little bit more about us after this video. But thank you so much to everyone who wrote in the assumptions. And and like he was saying, if you want to be a part of these next time when we do stuff like this in the future, we'll post them on our Instagram. So make sure you follow us on Instagram. All the prompts for like Sip with the Spinelli is like kind of like more of the podcast long form videos yeah. we do come from there. Make sure to go follow that. Subscribe on here. We just hit 4K yeah. subscribers. So we just hit 4,000 subscribers. That's awesome. So thank you guys so much to all the new faces around here. Thank you for being here. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe, like we said. But we love you guys, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace. Bye!